How much does it cost to start a vending machine business? Huh. Stay tuned, and I'll tell you. What's going on? It's your boy, Jonte Grove, and I'm back with another vending video. <laughs> so you're watching the vending machine masterpiece on YouTube. Check us out. So it's a beautiful day. I mean, not really, it's raining, but it is what it is. I still gotta keep working. I'm getting wet, I forgot my jacket, but it's all right, man, we out here. So today, we wanna talk about how much do it cost to start a vending machine business? Well, it depends on what you're trying to get into. Full line or bulk candy, right? They have different starting points. But you can get in for real cheap. You can get in for real cheap. Right now, I'm actually on my way to my storage unit to check out these two machines that I just recently bought. And I need to drop off this bulk candy machine that I took out of one of my locations because it wasn't working. It wasn't vending any candy. So I had to take it out. And now, I'm about to drop it off. So, I'm gonna go do that, and then I'll be right back at Also, it. is real. So, I just dropped my candy off at one of my locations because they said it was uh, not working right. I said, all right, cool, no problem, I'll take it. Took it home, literally had it home for 24 hours. I come back, and what do I see? Another goddamn candy machine. Hey, man, the hustle's real, baby. Now. I said, oh, okay, so I see y'all got the machine, like that's not mine. And uh, she said, oh yeah, this guy came yesterday, whatever, and I felt really bad because of the charity that he was with, so I wanted to put it in there. I said, cool. Now, listen, I get it, we all grinding, so I'm not gonna be mad, I'm not gonna be mad. I'm not mad, I'm not mad. <laughs> nah, really, I'm not though, because um, we got different candy, so it is what it is, you know what I mean? We got different candy, so what I actually might do uh, we do have um, peanut m and So what I'm actually going to do is the next go round, I actually may take that canister out and put in a new canister with different candy in there. So that way we both can get our money. You know what I mean? But it is what it is. Now, we're going to go over to the storage unit and we're going to talk a little bit more about how much it's going to cost to get into this business because the hustle is real. All right. Let's see, we're here at the storage unit. And I'm about to test out these machines. And there's no light in here, so give me one sec. I'm gonna set this up and we'll see what happens. All right, so no light. I got that up there. That's not really helpful, <laughs> especially if I gotta get back there. But this machine doesn't have a key. So I'm gonna have to drill that thing open.
weeks later. Okay, after like freaking 30 minutes of um, drilling, this damn thing finally popped up. Let me tell you, that is the Fort Knox of locks. Man, I'm gonna get the same model. All right, so let's open it up. It sucks because I won't be able to plug it in. So you know there are no plugs here, so I have to somehow get a power source. But let's see. I could open it up. Maybe I could open it up. Maybe. Just maybe. Maybe something in there for us. But as you can see, it's one, two, three, four. As you can see, it was hard to see. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16 selections. Dude, that was that was brutal. Alright. So change. <laughs> Machine so was taken good, good taken care of. I actually got an extra one of these just in case she just threw that in for free. All right, so got in there. Got it done. Um, we'll close this up. It's in here way longer than I was expecting to be, but hey, it is what it is. Got the machines in there, they all set up. So, good day. Good day. I'm gonna meet you back at the car. We're gonna talk about some vending machine business. <laughs> all right, <laughs> back in the car. Hey, got it done. A little upset that they didn't have anywhere for me to plug in these machines, but it is what it is. Um, I just spoke to one of my locations, so he said the boss will be there next Wednesday, but I'm gonna be on vacation, so, uh, right? But it is what it is. Um, but the reason why you here was not to see me try to break into one of my machines. It was to figure out how much does it cost to actually get into the vending machine business game. Now, it depends on two things are you doing full line or if you're doing uh, bulk candy or if you're doing both okay um, if you're doing full line machines then I'm gonna say you're gonna need about a grand to get started only because um, depending on where you live at the prices are different where I live at I mean you can get machines from 250 bucks on up I was in Baltimore uh, about a month ago and I mean the cheapest machine I saw was like $900 so it really depends now if you are in an area where there's actually, you know, some competition, you gotta get on these machines pretty quick because the cheap ones go very fast. So I would say a safe bet is jump on a machine that's about five hundred to six hundred dollars. Make sure it works. You can plug it in. Um, for time restraints for the machines that I just got, I didn't really have time to test them. The lady said they work, and. I kind of took her word for it, which, I mean, I really probably shouldn't have did, but we'll see. I mean, even if, hey, if I got to flip them, I got to flip them. It is what it is. But 
um, the machines, as you can see, they don't have, they don't see any burn, you know, any electricity looking real crazy. So, I believe the machines work. Now, um, hey, that's on me. I know y'all gonna comment at the bottom and be like, ah, you shouldn't do whatever. Hey, I wanted to get them, it was a deal. But, if you wanna get into it, you gonna need at least 500 to get you a machine. Um, depending on that machine, how many products gotta go into that machine. Now, that one right there is 16 selection for the, uh, the snack machine. And uh, for the soda machine, I'm not mistaken, it's like seven or eight. Um, so, you kind of got to take that into account for your price, depending on where you're going to get your stuff. Hopefully you're going to a Sam's Club or a Costco's. I already have a Costco's card for my family, so it's, it's easy for me to go up there and just get what I got to get. Uh, so that's why I said maybe a grand to get started in time, because you're going to have to find locations. Um, if you're getting into the bulk candy machine, you can really get in for real cheap, man. You can, I mean, literally you can buy some Vinstars on, Craigslist or eBay for like 180 bucks um, for one. Or if you find there's what I've been noticing, there's people that have a lot of these Vinstar machines. Now I know they're Vinstars and people don't like them because they're made out of plastic. But if you're just trying to get into the game, you know that's a really good place to start and then turn um, and then take those out and put better ones in or keep them. Right? It's your business, right? Who you know if they work, they work. Um, hey, listen, somebody was down my throat about me getting Vin stars. I, do you put a quarter in? Does candy come out? Pretty much, right? But anyway, um, you can get those. Some people are selling them both in the box brand new for, you know, from 180 and it's 200. Um, I haven't really seen them for any crazy prices. You can also go on eBay and you can find machines used for like $35 and up. Um, I'm actually gonna be copying this guy has some uh, single heads, they're about 35 bucks plus like $16 uh, shipping. So I'll probably grab a couple of those because I got some more locations that I gotta fill up. And again, your time, because you gotta find um, these locations. Now, if you don't have a lot of time, what you can do is you can hire a locator. Um, this locator, you know, charges 50 bucks for the um, gumball machines, and I think the price goes up from there. But if you're trying to get a location for a, um, a vending machine, a full line machine, it's like $350. So that's why I said, man, you're gonna need about a grand or maybe, maybe 1,200, 1,300 to get into the full line. And I would say $300 to do, um, to do bulk candy, to get into it, like 300 bucks. Um, don't make some of the mistakes I did. Uh, like um, buy it. I, now I bought a single head gumball machine it was my first one I bought that like whew, months ago and I placed it and it was cool it was just gumballs and it was in a really good spot I lost that location but um, I gotta place it and I'm trying to find a really good place to place the single head which I, I think I might end up selling it because I really don't want to just do single heads. Um, that location was perfect for it, and as like trying to repeat that, I don't think I want the hassle because it was at a, um, a children's gymnastics place. And, hey man, some of these parents suck. <laughs> Not at parenting, but they suck at buying their kids candy. In a sense, what I mean by that is the location was great. I mean, dude, I was doing like 60 bucks a month. Like I was selling out, like almost selling out of the candy in like 30 days. The problem was I had one parent complain, so it was out of there. Um, but it is what it is. But again, the hustle was real because I literally placed that machine at that location and it was already somebody in there. So if you're going to get at it, get at it. I'm not even mad at the person's hustle, whoever it is. I'm not even mad, baby. You know I mean, if I, if I see him filling the candy, maybe we can do some business together. Like, yo, look, we can, we can do this together. Hey, it is what it is, man. I'm an I'm equal opportunist, but... I don't know how long this video is actually gonna be, but again, like I said, man, 1,200 bucks to get you in a uh, full line, and I would say 300, 400 dollars to get you into bulk candy. And that may be a lot, to be honest with you. That could probably get you like four machines. So, I mean, you can really get into it. Um, the big money would be if you buying, if you're buying um, uh, people's routes. I would say maybe place your own machines first to kind of get acquainted to the business to see if you even like it and then start looking for buying routes or even buying um, full lines with uh, locations, you know? So you don't want to go in brand new and not know what the hell you're doing. But there's YouTube videos. I literally just downloaded a video to watch for um, 
this machine because I didn't really know the name, but I was able to put the serial number in Google and then pop right up. So I'm gonna be looking at those. And I got the um, owner's manuals too. So Google baby, Google me. <laughs> but I'm out of here, man, I gotta go. Time flew today. Time flew today, I got so much stuff to do at home. I gotta pick the kids up. So I gotta go, I can't keep talking to y'all. Even though how much I like talking to y'all, I gotta go. So don't forget to smash that like button. Don't forget to comment at the bottom. Watch the video. It's all love, man. It's all love. I appreciate it. I appreciate the comments. I appreciate the views. I appreciate all of it. Don't forget to um, watch that or listen to the podcast because I'm, I'm on there too. I'm everywhere, man. I'm out of here. Peace.